Hello, I am Dr. K.V. Menon. I am an orthopedic spine surgeon working as senior consultant in Drajigiri Hospital. Today I am going to talk to you about scoliosis. Scoliosis is a lateral spine deformity. If you look at a normal spine model, it is somewhat straight like this. Now when this bends to one side, something like this, that is when you get a scoliosis deformity. There are various patterns of scoliosis. Uh, the commonest pattern is something called adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. This is typically seen in adolescent girls. It starts around menarche, maybe 12 years, 13 years when girls start getting their periods. Why exactly? We do not know. We do not know all the causes of scoliosis, but we do have certain hypotheses. But typically, as the child grows, the spine grows and the deformity also progresses. And that's the worrisome feature of scoliosis. Some of these curves can become very large, very grotesque curves as well. So all treatment of scoliosis is aimed at preventing such grotesque deformities and there are some complications that can happen as a result of this deformity. Typically, we all follow what is called the SRS guidelines. SRS is the Scoliosis Research Society. And the guidelines that we follow are curves less than 40, 40 degrees occurring in young girls are treated by bracing and curves larger than 40 degrees uh, in growing children are treated by surgery. Uh, there are various surgical techniques available. Uh, some of the techniques are anterior, which means from the front. Some of the techniques are from the back. But all of them characteristically uh, involves insertion of screws into the vertebrae, into the spine, and straightening out the spine using metallic rods. These are titanium implants and they last forever, I mean, a normal person's lifespan. So if you put these implants into the body, they can last uh, 50, 60, 70 years, which is the normal lifespan of the individual. And they do not cause major restriction in physical activities, which means that most children who have surgery for scoliosis can participate in normal physical activities, school games, sports, athletics, dance, etc. And the surgery is quite safe. It is a long surgery. It takes about three, four, five hours at times. But it's quite a safe surgery because it's performed under neuromonitoring. Neuromonitoring is a kind of uh, technique that we use to monitor the spinal cord during surgery to ensure that the, no harm comes to the spinal cord and these children do not develop any paralysis or similar complications. So as a result of all these technical advancements, uh, scoliosis surgery is currently very safe and we are performing fairly large numbers of this type of surgery at Rajagiri Hospital.